city of Acre. Nearly twenty-one years have I ridden with Saladin. When word of the Saracen victory at Jerusalem reached Europe, another crusade was launched. The kings of the three most powerful nations in Europe, England, France, and the Holy Roman Empire, embarked for the Holy Land with hundreds of thousands of troops. Saladin knows that his most dangerous opponent is Richard the Lionhearted of England, a brilliant tactician who learned the art of war fighting against his own father. He builds colossal fortresses and fights always from the front lines, the ideal of a romantic warrior. Richard's army has come ashore near Acre. Much of Saladin's army is trapped in the city, while two monstrous English trebuchets pound at Acre's walls. If Richard can defeat our army here, then he can walk into Jerusalem unopposed. Saladin knows that this is the climax of his jihad. All the Crusader states have fallen. If the Saracens can hold onto Acre, then the Europeans will be forced to return home. If Acre falls, then the centuries-long nightmare of eternal war, raid and counter-raid, begin again. All Saladin's victories will be for nothing. Let us give the infidel dogs of the West a sight the likes of which no son of Europe has ever seen. heading for our wall. Jerusalem heading for our walls. Templars preparing to attack. Now. It's 
Reach out the lion hearted. He's attacking. We shoot for you. Let us give the infidel dogs of the West a sight the likes of which no son of your arms ever see. Benaor. Amron. Benaor. We shoot to kill. for our wall. It's Richard the Lionhearted. He's attacking. Genoese warship sighted. Thank <laughs> you. 
مستعد الهجوم Jerusalem heading for our walls. Heading for our wall. Preparing to attack. Banna Atom. Amron. Banna Atom. Banna Atom. Mustang. Banna Atom. Jerusalem heading for our walls. Let's <laughs> go. 
الماء حسنا بناء نعم بناء بناءة بناءة مستعد French soldiers heading for our wall بناءة أمر بناءة نعم بناءة نعم بناءة مستعدة بناءة نعم بناءة نعم بناءة جنوايسي وورشيب سايدة نعم بناءة Heading for our wall.
Jerusalem heading for our walls.
He's attacking! Genoese warship sighted! First year of my freedom. The fighting is over. The fire has gone out of Richard's lust for conquest. The two respected adversaries started speaking, finally, of peace. War is not gentle with men's health. Richard fell ill with a fever. Because he respected his enemy, Saladin sent Richard fruit and mountain snow to comfort him. Soon enough, Richard boarded a ship headed back to England. The Third Crusade is over. The final treaty was signed on September 2nd, 1192. By its terms, Jerusalem remains in Saracen hands, but Christian pilgrims are to be allowed to visit all the holy places freely and safely. It seems a fitting compromise to a war that has been fought over religion and land. The war is over, but I do not think I shall ever see Normandy again. I want to see the steel foundries in Damascus, and the gardens of the Caliph in Baghdad. I have never seen the mighty Craig de Chalier, now fallen fortress of the Knights Templar. The Holy Land has many wondrous sights, and I can spend a lifetime here. It is peace in the Holy Land, for the moment. Sadly, in a land so small, home to so many different cultures, birthplace of three of the world's great religions, I suspect that blood may one day stain the sand again.